Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Marry My Husband spin-off number four. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do the blur 50% of this episode. So yes, cat logo is going up or else they will take down my channel. And I got flagged twice this year, so I'm not risking it again. And this is my second take on reading this because I forgot to turn my mic on. So I was reading this entire thing and a few other webtoons without the mic on. And I want to freaking yeet myself out this window right now. But yeah, if you guys do want to support me, I do have all my reads on my private channel where it's not censored and it has no cat logo blur. So if that's something you guys want to do and want to support me, I do have them on patreon.com slash chaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. <sighs> Uh, isn't this my home? Why are you taking care of Yunchi? What are you doing here? <laughs> Don't you remember? Uh, what happened last night? Marry my husband. Spin off number four. What happened last night? Of course you don't remember anything. You were hammered. Uh, double whammy. Quack, quack. <laughs> Ow. Oh. Did you have a good night's sleep, you, you, Jun Shuk? Your clothes are still drying. Oh, it's all right. Oh, clothes. My dear, go easy on our princess. So she had a few drinks with her co-worker, threw up after feeling sick, huh. and had her colleague bring her home. It's no big deal. Huh? Wait, I did what? Did I throw up all over your clothes last night? No. You threw up on the sidewalk, but it got on my clothes a bit. Ugh. Oh my god. I can't believe I threw up. I have no recollection. Oh, and my dad probably forced the poor guy to stay. I feel so bad. What am I going to do? I like Mr. Lee. Huh? What did you say, Yonji? Mr. Lee gave me a piggyback ride. He gave you a piggyback ride too, Mommy. Uh, a piggyback ride? Oh, oh, that's my house. Careful. J Careful, Miss Yang. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Here, get on my back. You're going to hurt yourself. Uh, yay, I love piggyback rides. Uh, please don't drink again, Miss Yang. Okay. Don't cry in front of me either, or let your guard down like this. Um, it really isn't good for my heart. Huh? Oh my gosh, what was I thinking? I'm so embarrassed. I must have been so drunk. What the heck did I do? We should hurry. Yonji's going to be late. Let's drop Yonji off and head to the office together. We can all go in my car. Uh, you can't be late for work, Miss Yang, since you're the deputy general manager. Oh. I'm sorry for giving you so much trouble. Trouble? I had a great time yesterday. It made me want to work overtime with you every day. I applaud you, Mr. Lee. You have excellent social skills. I wouldn't be surprised if you weren't hiking with the general manager one of these days. What about you, Miss Yang? Would you go? I'll be down. Do you like hiking too? No, I like you. Ah, <sighs> Mr. Lee. As I said last time, I, I like you. I'm crazy about you. I know you're going to turn me down again, but I want you to know how I feel. My dream woman is someone who's competent and skilled Someone I can learn from. I'm sorry, but nothing can happen between us. Why not? Do you really hate me that much? Hate you? What do you hope to achieve by dating me? No, it's the opposite, really. Which is why it's a problem. Let me be clear about this, just in case. I have no intentions of marrying again. Don't waste your good years on me and find someone who will build a future with you. Even if I promise to be a good partner? Even if I love Yonji like my own daughter? And treat you like a princess? 
You should raise your own daughter with love, not Yonchi. And find someone prettier and younger to be your princess. I'm sure your parents would agree with me. Let's stop talking about this. My parents. <laughs> Miss Yang, I'm going to take the day off today. Is that all right? The next day. Ta -ta. Lee Junxiu. Should I call him? I haven't heard from him since he left that day, yesterday. Ms. Yang, you have to get off the, the, on this floor. Huh? Mr. Lee, we're here. Wait, this isn't our floor. Oops. I guess we should take the stairs up one flight. <laughs> He's acting strange. Uh, Nuna. Hey, what at work? And I don't want you calling me that, regardless. I went to my parents' place yesterday after taking the day off and got them to sign this. T open it. What is it? Something is definitely up. Hyun Sik Lee and Suk Ja Kim's youngest son, Jin Jun Siuk Lee, hereby declares his intention to remain unmarried. Even if he does get married in the future, he promises not to ask for any financial support. The parties have read and agreed to the terms above. Is everything settled then? I'm the youngest of four brothers, so I already have six nieces and nephews. My parents said I could do whatever I want. What are you talking about? What does this document mean? And what do you mean by, is everything settled? I'm not going to get married. Even if a younger, prettier woman asks me to marry her, I won't do it. Please go out with me, Nuna. Did I not make myself clear last time? Or did you not understand what I said? I understood it perfectly. I know you're pushing me away, even though you're also having have feelings for me. When did I say that? That's how I understood it. He's totally right. He knows me better than I do. So let's date each other. We don't have to get married, whether it's 10, no, 100 years. Let's just keep dating. That's ridiculous. How so? Just because two people love each other doesn't mean they have to get married. Marriage doesn't have to be the end goal. Huh. I have no intentions of dating other women. And you have feelings for me. You just don't want to get married. If you get sick of me, you can always dump me. Should that happen, I'll try just three times to win you back. And then I'll leave you alone. Why three times? Would you rather I didn't try at all? It's my third time asking you out, Nuno. Yonji gave me this. If you eat this, I'm going to take it as a yes. I can't believe you're joking around right now. Come on. Are you going to take it or not? What if I don't take it? Then nothing will happen. And I'll have to try to get over you somehow. I don't want that. How are you so brave, even though you're six years younger than me? And why can't I stop thinking about you and caring about you? May I? Mm-hmm. Oh. Office romances are even more romantic than I imagined. Man, oh man, that was spicy. I can't believe it. She's finally accepting her fate. She's expe finally accepting... <sighs> Mr. Lee's affection and love and she took the candy is that scene was extremely Woo! it was spicy all right guys you guys enjoyed the way I read this and reacted and acted out feel free to subscribe I read like this on many many other webtoons so yeah definitely check out my other reads <sighs> I will catch you guys next time please feel free to leave a thumbs up drop some comments and yeah I'm tired. I'm checking out. Bye!